Hey everybody, Scott Dowell here. Some awesome new news uh, from Christian Cantrell, who's made a plugin for Dream Studio, that's Stable Diffusion version 1.5 currently, uh, that works inside of Photoshop. Now I'm gonna show you another tool near the end of this video too that works very well with this one, and it's kind of a surprise uh, that these two happen to come to uh, fruition at the same point. Uh, but Christian's plugin is very easy to install. You just go to his website, download the plugin, double click on it, and it will install itself as a plugin inside of your uh, creative cloud. And then you'll just put that inside of Photoshop. Once you've got that done, you can launch it from the plugins menu, and then you'll simply need your API key from Dream Studio. Now remember, Dream Studio is the same people who bring you Stable Diffusion, but it's one version ahead. And before you say, hey, can I just get the free one? Remember that the free one is driven by revenue, right? So all the people who are helping to fund this project are helping all those who just want this thing for free. So uh, I'm one of those people that's you know, paying for the product because I like it and I want to see it developed. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. So let me show you how to use the tool once you've got it installed. Once you've got it installed, you can go to Plugins, Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion, and bring up the floating panel, which you can dock if you'd like. I'll link to his video below. So if you have trouble installing it, he gives a nice step-by-step -step instruction on how to get it installed. So once you've got it installed, you can simply put in a prompt your width, your height, CFG, steps, number, and your sampler version, and so on. Obviously, because we're using Dream Studio, we get access to the 1.5 version, which is better with hands and faces. Still not perfect, but a big step forward from 1.4. And then you simply hit Dream. Every time you hit Dream, it's going to generate a new one, which you can access from your history if you'd like to go up here and see what ones you've generated in the past. Once one has been created, you can simply create layer, and it'll create a new layer in the current document with that image, which is pretty cool. You can also copy the seed if you'd like to use this as a point of departure for other variations. One more amazing tool I wandered across the day is Lexia. This lets you access all over 10 million Stable Diffusion images that have been created and borrow the prompts. So if you can't make art and you can't make prompts, now you can just copy and paste because, yeah. Anyway, so you go in here, find one you like. You can bring up an image. You can see the prompt they've used. You can copy the prompt directly. You can copy the URL, open it in a new window, or explore styles that are similar to this one, which is actually pretty darn cool. From here, you can find one you really like. You can copy the prompt, you can copy the seed, and paste that all inside of Photoshop here. Please note the guidance scale and the dimensions, because that will alter the result. And there you go. Now note that this one was generated in 1.5 and not in 1.4. So it should have improved facial features and so on. Uh, if you like this style better, obviously you can go back and alter the tool so that it generates using the old version. So that's two fantastic tools that work really well together. We're able to take Christian's plugin and put that inside of Photoshop and use the Lexia application to go and check out all the wonderful images that have been created in Stable Diffusion, borrow the prompts, borrow the seeds, and then tweak it as we would like. And of course, we're in Photoshop. So now we can mess with it our heart's content and make it our own art and not just a prompt. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.